So. So where are we now? We are in the lovely luxury place for the rest. Mm. Not far from mm. that big rock Not over there, which is Aphrodite. Aphrodite's rock. I thought we came with, uh, to the uh, mm. Adonis. Adonis and, uh, I got a bit it? confused. Never mind, right. we'll go there next week. We'll go there next week. We will. Okay. So what do you think of these things? One, they could be used for torture. You understand me? Yeah. But the idea is that they're to make a picture frame. So you invite your beautiful wife into the frame. And there she is. Lovely. And there's more over there. Should we go and see them? I'm sure they're for torture as well. Very dangerous ish. So, look at that view. That's like the reoccurring theme of our of our movies. They're not short movies, obviously, because we live on the beautiful island of Cyprus. And we live in? We live in Paphos. Which is paradise. Which is paradise, yes, honestly. It honestly, is. Yeah. You're welcome to come. Don't forget, if you can find us, that sounds like we're criminals. <laughs> but if you can find us, we'll buy you lunch. Cheap lunch, obviously. Expensive. Expensive. He's lying again. I'm lying again. <laughs> she thinks I've got lots of money and I haven't. Anyway, hopefully, if you click subscribe, we can get a little bit of dinero from YouTube. And then we can do some other. Hold on, we've got a dancing girl. I'll shut up and we can see the dancing girl. I think she's doing the shallow ho. Are you going to do the shallow ho? She Without is. The music. Without the music. Because we're not allowed to play music on YouTube unless we pay. <laughs> I would dance all the time. Yeah, you dance. I would dance. You would dance. So let's show let's go and have a look. This luxury view. Let's go and have a look. I'll follow you on these steps. The little wooden pathway for us, and we're going to show you that it's quite beautiful, actually. It really is. It really, really, really is nice. And there's the sun just shining through over there. So if you stand here in front of this one. Or go behind it make sure you don't fall over because I haven't taken out that insurance policy yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody. everybody and there's the sun shining in the background beautiful again here's these dangerous things for killing people and if we were very brave we could walk all the way over there and you are I know you are again we apologize for the wind but these are the things that you have to somehow find a way around when you are walking along the coastline especially in the middle of February what day is it tomorrow what day is it tomorrow tomorrow is a Valentine's, Valentine's Day and if she's a lucky girl she might get a gift whoa look at the drop wow, wow. imagine falling down there just oh. imagine no no imagine no, falling down there we haven't got the insurance. That you. Look at that view. Spectacular. Aphrodite's Rock. And look at that little beach. That's a lovely little beach. So I suppose if you go down to Aphrodite's Rock, then you walk down, you can come down here and do nude sunbathing. That's something I would film. Don't go to the Aphrodite's Rock if you don't want to have a baby, by the way. Oh. Yeah? It's a legend. <laughs> Russian tourists, all of them, so, if you go and swim around the Aphrodite, that rock, three times, then you would get pregnant. Mm. And therefore, one of our uh, clients, the people, the social people we knew, she was coming every year with a new <laughs> baby. And I said, probably she was swimming, trying a lot around the mm. rock. So, <laughs> action woman's off again. Now, thinking back to a previous video, often in olden times, pirates would stand on the front of their ship and go, We're here! We have ease! We have No, 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 no. It was like, What? My, what? My hearties. No, the, the first. Ahoy! 
<laughs> I'm scared not to say something in Russian, which means something not oh. very bad. And yes. It, it's a one of the organ of the man. Oh, whee! <laughs> my, well, just my just eyes. don't say Balshe. Huh? Oh no. 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 Oh, no, no, no. Whee! My Have you seen this jet? Have you no, seen up there? Look, look, look. <laughs> Have you seen the aeroplane? <laughs> In the sky. Some lovely tourists flying home. Are you coming down? Yeah. Because, like I say, we haven't got the insurance policy yet. Back up we go. Look at that big jet. Spectacular view, absolutely spectacular. Now, we are going to jump into the car, the machina, the coche, and head over there. Yes? Whee! What a is. Let's go. <laughs> we'll follow the... Hey. Oh, we're going to follow the veranda. Hey. Oh, hi. That's Scottish now. You're talking Scottish. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Ochai Danu is a bit of Scottish. I don't know what it actually means, but it's Scottish. There's a bit of a breeze now, because of course the sun is slowly going down, and it is only the middle of February. So, we are going to head back to the car, and we're going to go to Aphrodite's Rock before the sun goes down, correct? Mm -hmm. So, I will be a gentleman, because I am, and I will put Miss Ochin Leboeuf into the cot. Are you in, Miss Leboeuf? Oh, I'm sure she's from East London. Are you in? Yeah, yes. Thank you. Excellent. So, here we are. We've now got back in the coche, driven down a little bit. Miss Leboeuf is checking her vitrine, as we can see, putting on her sports hat. It's quite a nice hat, that Miss Leboeuf. Thank you. Very it's fancy. Be very cold there. Put it that way a little bit. But yes, it's going to be a bit of a breeze. And as you can see, the sunset is yonder. So come on, Leboeuf. Otherwise, Otherwise, it'll be dark. The rock, the man from the rock will be disappeared. He will. Miss Marika says that apparently there's a Russian fable that if you swim round Aphrodite's rock three times, you end up pregnant. Is that correct? Yes, 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 yes. They all believe in that. That's what they all believe in it. Yes. Now, I think something else is going on. I think that they swim round the rock three times to check their husbands are not watching <laughs> and someone's waiting for them. But never mind, that's another story and another video. Am I correct, Miss Lebu? Yeah. Yeah? So, here we are in the car park of, how do you say this place? Petra something, isn't it? Petra Turomiu. How do you say it? Petra Turomiu. What does that actually translate? So, does it translate? It's like uh, Stone of the Love. Stone of the Love. So it's referring to Aphrodite's rock, basically. Yeah. Like I said, slowly this channel is turning into a history knowledge channel. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah? yeah as we calm down with our stupidity. Although I like the stupidity because I'm an idiot. But anyway, <laughs> let's go across this road. And one He's day... He's not an idiot. No, I'm not Very an idiot. Boy. Well, Otherwise we'll you wouldn't choose me. Exactly, exactly. I wouldn't have chosen Miss Leboeuf. Moscow so, Avenue. It is. Well, everyone's coming to this one place. Now, now Miss Leboeuf, oh, you've got to God. climb. So I'm going to film it. Where are you going? Oh, I see you're going to the rock. So Miss Leboeuf is going to climb over. Because there's no actual pathway. You have to climb over. Are you ready? <laughs> Be careful. Oh, are you all right? Yes, she's all right. And even if she's not, she'll never let you know. Ooh. Now you would have thought that they would have opened this up and put a little passageway. Yeah. But anyway, they haven't. So, where are we going? To the man who's sitting under the water. To the man who's, who's sitting pregnant. under the water. And you're going to get pregnant? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. So. I've got enough babies. Yes. 
don't want more. Don't want more. So we'll quickly walk down here. And as you can see, it's not the greatest of pathways. They decided to leave it as a natural. historical. Natural. Yeah, natural. <laughs> natural. <laughs> Which is not. Not the best way. It's the laziness of the country, yes. I would say. Because it's actually quite dangerous. It's quite dangerous for a man to walk on. Yeah. Never mind a woman. Luckily you haven't got high heels on. No. Although, no. you have, have got... You a bit of a build-up of a heel. Yes. Have you shown have the people how nice it is? The people sitting there. You can swim here. You can. We should come one summertime. Here. In the summertime, we will come and we will make a film. Yeah. And we will swim. We will swim. And we will show the people. Now, what's that over there? I think uh, it's an underground area to come in. So ah, okay. Through. So there is an underground area. We just didn't know where it was. We are now behaving like a real tourist. Yes. We've, yes, that's right. We've been here once. I don't remember. We're like now. stupid tourists. And yet again, the sea is unbelievably calm. I want to say, up there, it was windy. Yes. Because we were on the top, right? Because we were right on the pinnacle, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and now. Whereas now we're sort of bunkered down. And there's no wind. It is totally calm. And it's beautiful. And like Marika says, in the summertime, we will come down. It's that stone over there, which is like an island. You see around it, it's... Uh, the actual second one, you mean? Yeah. The smaller... No, 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 the big one. The big one. Yeah. Okay. So it's the big one that Marika is saying in Russian folklore, that if you swim around three times, you'll end up going back to Russia and having a baby. <laughs> or as I've said, perhaps there's a little underground cave where someone is waiting for these women to go swimming around yeah. and that's why they end up pregnant. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, this is the underground passage over here, which looks quite dark and dingy. Let's go and have a quick look. Because it could be a torture chamber, but it is actually an underground passage that takes you under the road. But you would have thought they would have put lights onto it. Why? Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, it's a COVID, COVID relic. So if ever you run out of masks, you can come here and get one. Well, we should <laughs> See? the masks Which one now. do you want, a black one or a blue? No, I would... Do you want a dark blue? Because you've got a dark blue mask and you've got light blue masks. And so we've got that black one's quite nice. I would put... What do you think? I might take that one. And there's another black one. And this one. Well, I could have that. I could take that. There's a bit of a theme going on here. Plenty of black masks. That one's a nice one. Well, I must say. So, Mr. Brief, what have you found? What's that? It's actually an area where you can go through under. from the under. Yeah. Go on then. I'll follow you. Why should I go there? Because it'll be fun. No, I don't want no. to see Let the snakes. Have a look. There's no snakes in there. No, but it's quite wet over there. It is quite the wet. Because the rain comes through, you see? It is. Yeah. Now, you would have thought they'd have made it a bit wider. Wide. Well, what if a, a large person was to try and get through? A Sukhani Gori? In Cyprus, there is not enough spaces, so we have to economy the space area. She sounds like a Cypriot politician. <laughs> anyway, back to the beauty of... Aphrodite's rock. So if that's Aphrodite's rock, the big one, what are these rocks? This is the men's rocks. The men's rocks? Yeah. They should they should go up and say wave to the women. Hello. Hello. We like here. to have a baby. We is that what they're for? Okay. Let's walk out to the rock then. Yeah. You lead the way, I'll follow you, or I'll follow the veranda, as I say. Oh. It's not the best place to walk, is it? Answer it. I don't mind you answering it. <laughs> Hello. 
Marika is now communicating in Georgian with her mother, who is in downtown Tbilisi. Hold on. Experienced Aphrodite, goddess of love, and beauty rise from the waves. Apparently, you can do all this on an app. So why do these women go swimming around this rock? It's because they're hunting for this man or men that are lurking on the rear of that lock. Rock, not lock. I'm not in Scotland. That rock waiting for them and of course the women are swimming around going please make me pregnant i want a baby and these men are waiting for them where are you going to live i don't know i'm thinking where to you're thinking let me get down first because at least if you oh. fall on your bottom i can film it are you going to climb up there Here. yes i think you can do it i do believe that if you put your foot into there and into there you will get up and if you fall, well, think of the views. <laughs> think of the views. Go on. Action girl Marika. Go on. <laughs> go on. Up you go. That's it. Action girl Marika. Not too bad. Are you going to stand up and give us a salute? Wow. What about a my hands? My hands. How's the view? Wow, wonderful. Is it good? Give me the camera. I will. Hold on a second. Doom, doom, doom. Ooh ah. Ooh ah. Now it's your turn, Mr. Paul. Oh, come up as well. 1,000 meters yeah. above the sea. There we go. How far? I don't think we're 1,000 meters. For the men, it's easy. It's very easy for a man. It is. Well, for a man. we're built different, should we say. Yeah, I know. Look how clear the sea is. Wow. It's beautiful. And it's so tranquil as well. You know, fun aside, it, it really is beautiful. And it's unbelievably calm and tranquil. Because it's like a little cone. The water is so clean. Look at this water. You can see every each stone. This man yeah. is standing. Shall we? Are you not? Yes. Are you not one of those men who make uh, women pregnant around these the stones until they are swimming? How are you thinking? I'm thinking. Luckily, about it. I know that you're sleeping with me day and night time. Huh? Yes. But. Yeah. But. Know, if I could have a night off, <laughs> too, it doesn't yeah. sound like a bad job. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> so, give me my camera back. <laughs> Miss Labou, Are you sure? and you get down. Oh my god. I'll hold your hand. Oh. Or shall I go down first and no, catch you? No, no, no. I will try. You sure? Yeah, I mean, think of the views, is I'm what I say. All I wouldn't I'm jump. Is the views. I wouldn't jump. I would go to there first because I think you'll find you will fall on your bottom if you jump. Oh. Oh, excellent. Hello. Now, I don't know if the younger viewers remember, but my sort of age group, 40, there was a, a character called Lana Croft, 
who was in a series of movies, which was actually Angelina Jolie in real life. And she was famous for being an action woman. She's got nothing on Marika G. There she is. So, are you going to film me fall on the bottom? Of course, yes. It's your turn now. Okay. So I'll pass through the camera and she'll watch me fall. Think of the views. I'm think going to think of the, of the views. views. Think, of think of the views. views. I will think of the views. Mr. Paul. I will, I, will, I, will, I, will. I will just close up that pocket because that pocket's got the belt in. Not that we've got any money, but yeah. We'll, we'll zip that one up. This one's got something very important in it. This one is a cigarette. You look very slim, Mr. Paul. I'm breathing in. Yeah. Wow. I'm what coming down. What a ready? man. Are we ready? One, two. I'm like a man called Steve Austin. Three. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well. Right. Well Let's done. On. Let's move on. Okay. I will take the camera yeah. and I will follow Miss LeBouf and the veranda. Let's go. We're heading off to the big rock, the rock where apparently all Russian women love to swim around so that they can get pregnant. And we're going to go and see if we can find where this pregnancy thing happens. You never know. We could be lucky and we could find Russian women all lined up. And, well, who knows? We may find out what's going on. What do you say, Lebouf? Come on. There's the big monster. And it is a big monster, a very, very big rock. And I'm going to make sure that Miss LaBeouf climbs up. Over there? Yes. Think of the views. Yeah. Think of the views. Huh? Just yeah. think of the views of you all the way up there. It's quite a busy place. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. huh? Now, there appears to be some kind of track, Miss LeBouf. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Don't forget, they're not high heels. Oh, no. No, they're not high heels. Oh, no. Who says that they would like to see Miss LeBouf climb up? Now, one of these days, if we get enough subscribers, we will do a live stream and we will come back here and I will persuade Mr. Yeah, Mr. I will do, I will do. to go up. Just in athletic shoes. Yes. No, no. Unfortunately, she's not in quite the right shoes. And but close. we will take you to the seafront and show you the view. The sun has not gone down yet, but it's hidden behind the clouds. But we're going to go down this and up, down and up, and we're going to get to the beach. Shall we go over that yeah. way? It might be a bit more gentle on our, on our ankles. And as the viewers hopefully can see, the view is spectacular. Oh, Miss LeBouf, this I've done specially for you because tomorrow is especially for Mrs. LeBouf. Sometimes I think of her. Is it nice? Miss LeBouf in a heart. Should I stay here? Yes. Whoa. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> you see, the see? heart is not influencing on me well. No. So, think of the view, Miss LeBouf. I was thinking. Huh? This could be the video that takes us Main Street. Probably not, hey, but I it be, could be. I will be collecting the lovely stones oh. now. Oh. This is something Miss LaBeouf likes to do. Walk around looking for unusual But if pebbles. you think these old stones come one day from the sea, they do. from the oceans. And then they and go back out and then come back yes, in and back every out. Every single stone yeah. is... Uh, it's got uh, a story. Antique. And hundreds of thousands of years hundreds old. Hundreds of thousands. That probably started off as a 20, 30, 40 kilo rock yeah, out in the middle of the ocean. And now it's tiny. And if you come back in a thousand years, which I'd like to, it'll be half this. the size. Look at this. What did you find? 
Uh -huh. it's, it's got a few stories to tell. Yeah. You know, uh, I've been once in the village. It looks like a cow shit. <laughs> no? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, it Sorry for the language. <laughs> but like I said, we're a family show. She could have sworn, but she didn't. There's millions of them. Millions? Yeah. Millions of rocks. And here we are. I wish I had that many euros. One euro. No, half a euro. Uh, as many euros, then uh, you, you see the stones here. I agree. And it could be possible if you click, click I'm losing my English. If you hit the like button and click the subscribe button. It will cost you nothing, but it will mean the world to us. And it will allow us to go on our adventures. As I've said before, we're gonna spend this year and into next year in Cyprus. Then we're gonna to go to Georgia. Then we're gonna to go to Armenia and we're gonna work our way around. And as I can tell you, this is quite a busy place. Even at this time of night, on this cold day. Oh, Mr. Bruce found something else. Look at this. It's a beautiful rock. Beautiful rock. So I would say we've probably got about 20 minutes of flight. Go on then, throw it. Good. And by this time next year, that little rock that she's thrown will be all the way over there, heading out towards Egypt or Lebanon or Israel, because that's where we are, looking out to sea. So, shall we make our way back? Yes. Yes? And we can admire the beautiful pebbles as we go. Have you ever seen nice. that square? Have you ever seen Unusual. that square? I'll take it with you. You will take that one. Because usually they're all, they all rounded, rounded, rounded and oval. And this one is also square, sort of, but not really a nice colour. Not a nice colour. And I hope the people appreciate that this is quite hard to walk on. Whether you're in leather shoes like Marika or whether you're in athletic shoes like I am. It plays havoc on your feet and your ankles. I can see we're going to get much worse MPG on the way back because we're going to carry a lot more weight. If I want to kill you one day, I found one more. Oh. It's here. So, people, so behave. look at that, and look at the back of my head, <laughs> and I could be in big trouble. Is, I'm going to take it with me or not? No. No. Okay. No, 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 no. We don't need it. Oh, so, oh, wow. no. This is the problem. When we start looking for rocks, she can spend hours. Are you taking that one? Mm -hmm. And this one. And that one. And before you know it, we'll be carrying a bag full. <laughs> oh. oh. See? The new name for the channel is Rock Collecting with Marika. Ooh. 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 Have you seen? Have I seen? Yes. Oh, look at that. Rock Collecting. That looks like a piece of chocolate. Yeah. That looks like Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, come on. It's getting a bit cold. Yeah. We're not dressed for the Antarctica, are we? No. But we've enjoyed our day, and I hope that the viewers have enjoyed it too. Enjoyed, yes, I hope too. Yes. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good health. I'm wishing you all the best. And thank you for watching and stay with us. Please subscribe. Love you. I'll just scan out across the rock and I'll say goodbye as well.